Yo, I'm Keku, and today we're back with another video. Um, if you've seen my last video, I was asking for video ideas. Um, I really, I really like the stuff that you guys commented, especially with the manga stuff. I haven't really read any manga except My Hero Academia. I'm gonna be start reading the manga because I really don't want to wait for season five to drop out because season five is gonna take till July and it's probably gonna get pushed back because of Corona and stuff like that. But yeah. That's besides the point. Um, we came through a title, correct? So basically, we're going to be talking about how I got catfished on Xbox. Um, it's really a crazy story. It happened about... Well, I'm, I'm 15 now, but it happened about three years ago. So I'd say it'll be 12 or 13 or somewhere around there. It really amazes me how I was so dumb with it. Okay, so basically, um, I first got my Xbox around four years ago when i was about 11 12 or 13 i can't really remember my age back then but um yeah i would get on xbox every day and be a little uh, a loser you know basic stuff i was a little kid so i really didn't do anything else i just um hopped on xbox every every day stuff like that and i just played my game i really was like really innocent and stuff back then and I think this one day I was playing with these two people on Friday the 13th. This is when Friday the 13th, the game was really popping. It was like really popular, not how dead it is now. If you hop on the, if you hop on the servers right now, it's pretty dead. Yeah, but this is back then when the Friday the 13th was actually a pretty good game. It was really popular. People were actually playing it. I'm pretty sure back then there was a video where Corey Kenshin was playing it. I really like uh, his videos. Shout out to him. But that's, that's beside the point. It's basically yeah, it was basically back then. So if anyone can like work, like know how back how far back that was, then please tell me. But I can't remember how far back that was. Yeah. But yeah, it's just we're out playing a um, a game that day, and I'm pretty sure I heard someone talking. I thought it was a girl, and you know me being a little kid, you know girls don't really play games. In in fact, if you it's like common knowledge and there wasn't really traps back then there wasn't really well there was traps back then of course but they weren't really memed or normalized it was just like they're there i guess they're, they was just cost dressing it wasn't really traps or anything like that so me being like a like a little kid who watched anime who watched like harem anime i really just like just tried to talk to her i don't know it really sounds bad for me but i, I was like around 11 so i really didn't even no better it's just really crazy and stuff like that so basically um i would after this i'm pretty sure we would talk i realized it was a girl well a, a supposed girl and yeah i really just talked to her talked to him every day from that day on i really just played with them every day didn't do anything else i was just i really thought it was a girl not gonna lie but it really confused me when i figured out it wasn't a it wasn't a girl but we would just play multiple games like Roblox every, not every day because I had to go to school, but like every, at least every weekend or every Friday, Thursday or Wednesday, I'm pretty sure. We would play about every, day, almost every day, basically. I didn't play with any other friends. This is the really thing that pisses me off because I really just took my time and didn't do anything else and just, I just fell for this stupid girl. I, I really don't. I really don't regret me finding out I was a girl, but it really just... Yeah, I really, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, but I really haven't... I really can't even write scripts correctly. Correctly, I just... I'm not, I'm not the person to write scripts. I just go off the top of my head. It just makes more sense to me. But yeah. It's just... It's really crazy to me how like, people can catfish and make their voice like that. It just... I've, I've heard some surprising stuff. I, I heard that people can um use voice changers on Xbox, which is really... i never seen anyone do that, but I know people can naturally do it with a voice changer. But yeah, um, so basically, it's a, this is the way I found out it was a boy. Um, so basically, one day I was playing Overwatch with a supposed girl, right? And I think one of the kids, her brother, his brother, was like, oh... You want to say hi to my brother and he came back on the mic that really surprised me since i was a dumb kid back then i really just pushed it to the side 
But here is a final evidence how it clicked from my dumb head. From my dumb 11 year old brain. This is how it really clicked. When a, a, grown, a grown ass man came at a mic. His voice was deep. It scared me. Oh God, he said, I don't know what you're doing with my son. Uh, Red Sparrow. Let's, let's say exact words. Red Sparrow. And I just left the party. I was so scared. You don't even understand. I left the party. And after that, I tried to invite him back to the party because I didn't know what happened. And I found that I was blocked. I didn't know what I was blocked for. But then I realized it wasn't a boy. I didn't realize it right then. But then I'm, I wanted to like... I don't know what really sounds bad for me. But I really just wanted to talk to the supposed girl again. But it wasn't really a girl. I knew it wasn't a girl. But I was just see if she was... If I got on a different account. Because I didn't have a mic. I wanted to hop on a different account and see if she... If he did, if she kept catfishing... And guess what? I'm guessing he did. You know how I know he did? Because I actually made a second account and hopped on the party. The other guy was, because we played with the other guy. He was into it. He was on it. And I'm pretty sure he knew that he was catfishing, which is really messed up. I don't know why he would have a friend that supported that. But yeah, I hopped on the party and I was like, yo, hello, it's just a boy. Because I didn't want to be more obvious. And it just really... It just really surprised me how she was, he was still being a boy, I mean, being a girl. It just makes no sense at all to me how someone could, like, pretend to be a a girl on the internet for no reason. I don't know why people would want to trick people. Like, you're not even getting any money out of it or anything like that. You're just, like, you're wasting time, basically, which makes no sense. I don't know why or something like that. I don't even know why the guy is still friends with him. I don't. I haven't talked to the guy or the, the supposed girl in years. I really hope they change his act and really doesn't do that anymore. The guy said he was five, but honestly, I believed him back then. But I do not believe him now. No five-year-old has the comprehension to catfish a, a twelve, eleven-year-old boy in, into stuff like that. No, no, I don't think that's true at all. It's just like that. But hey, I think I learned from it, honestly. It's, it's kind of really funny how I was so dumb back then. Um, This is back then when I made uh, Minecraft role plays. If you're, a, if you're an OG of the channel, you would know that. But um, yeah, I'm going to be talking to you guys later. I'm, I got to go. Um, It's been Keku. I'm out.